What do you reckon will happen to this place tomorrow night if Nigeria beat Australia? If Nigeria beats Australia, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> I can't wait for it. This is a venue where it belongs to the community. So we said we create a place where everyone can come home. It's a Nigerian food, but at the same time, everything happens about from food, events. The owner, Mr. Ade, he reached out to me and said, oh, if you guys are having an event coming up, please let us know. We can you can use our space. And I was like, oh my gosh, we we're planning already to have the FIFA Women's World Cup watch party. So we we're like, this is the perfect venue. They've opened up a brand new Nigerian orientated restaurant. So it's like the perfect venue to have it. We have a pretty large um, population of Nigerians in Brisbane, but I feel like because we're all spread out, yeah. and the issue with Nigerians is that like everyone's too busy doing their own thing that nobody actually comes together and like does events and you know and appreciates our culture together. What happens is a lot of the time when you are raised in a um, Western country like Australia, you often like have an identity crisis and you kind of lose who you are. And so this is kind of a safe space where you can embrace who you are and learn more like your language and your culture and like be able to celebrate that and have pride. For us, it's isn't our space to showcase the culture. I'm so glad to be able to be part of the um, people hosting and also supporting the community as well. Everyone knows about Nigeria, and so it's really nice to see like people from Congo, South Africa, Zimbabwe coming here to like see and support, you know, Nigerian talent. Because if we win, the whole of Africa wins. Yeah. So, like, this is no divide. We're all one. Yeah. So, it's given main character energy. Thank <laughs> you.